<laughs> now, in this series, we're challenging Emily to turn her scientific mind to the everyday objects around us. Today, it's the turn of the toaster. So let's head over to my kitchen and look at the classic, the electric toaster, which we all... Well, they're trying to stop us having them now because they say it's, you know, damaging the environment and everything, but I'm hanging on making toast in the morning uh, ju just until they actually get rid of it. You take one apart. It. We have to say, please don't take apart <laughs> your <laughs> toaster. <laughs> it's ever so dangerous. Stay out of it. But Emily is going to show you how it works works and what it does. What does it do? Well, I'm just going to press this one here so we can here we illustrate. Go. Look there at we this are. side. Right. So, toasters work by transferring electrical energy into heat energy in the form of radiation, which is why they glow red, and that red is the heat being given out. Yeah. Now, they're made of um, this rectangular block, which is made of mica, which is a natural mineral f uh, found in rocks. Now, that's interesting, because we still have a natural mineral found in rocks in mm -hmm. the middle of a toaster, nothing synthetic. No, nope, it? it's got really great properties. It's very stable, mm -hmm. so it doesn't melt when it gets really hot, mm -hmm. and it actually doesn't conduct electricity, because we want that bit to to not conduct the current. Now, uh, when... Me. Spot the deliberate mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been waiting for blooming ages for that. <laughs> Loving toasters, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. To make toast first, um, get some bread. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! I put it down the wrong bit. I put it in the wrong bit. It's, it's, it's resting on the element. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to be talking about the humble toaster. <laughs> I'm going to put it down the right hole now. Oh. <laughs> right. Yes. Anyway, mica, and you've got this element going right. Why does it get hot? So why it gets hot is because wound around this mica sheet um, is a wire which yeah. is made of nichrome, which is a mixture of nickel and chromium. And the nickel has a really high resistance, which means it holds back the electrons of the electric current going round it, causing loads of friction, and that friction transfers energy to heat. And it heats up the wire. And it heats up the wire. And there's a lot of heat coming out of that wire, which is why it glows red, and the toast gets hot and eventually burns. <laughs> when was it invented, the toaster? It eventually burns. <laughs> Um, well, people have been toasting bread since the Roman Empire, but yeah. the first um, electric toaster was in 1893 by a Scotsman. And the pop-up toaster? The pop-up was in 19 th uh, 1919. That's amazing. So it, it took a little while for the pop-up to, to, to pop catch into up, to pop into the... <laughs> <laughs> but now we're told now there's a new sort of EU directive, we mustn't eat burnt toast. That's right. Why? So the EU are now saying that... Any, well, we've known for a long time that um, you shouldn't really eat charred food off a barbecue, although everyone obviously does. Which there's but... no other kind of food comes off a barbecue <laughs> in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> but they're saying now that anything that's blackened or charred, like dark-coloured uh, crisps or chips or crackers, and particularly burnt toast, we shouldn't be eating it because it's got a chemical called acrylamide in it. Yeah. And that's thought that it may have cancer-forming properties. So it may be carcinogenic, mm. burnt toast. So uh, it's only is... going to increase your risk. It's not going to necessarily cause it, but it's probably not worth doing. But why is it that we prefer toast somehow to, to ordinary white bread? Why does it taste so much better? Well, what the, radiate, the radiant heat does is it obviously heats up the bread and that yeah. um, evaporates the moisture first of all, so it changes the texture of the bread, so it becomes crunchy. But also, it uh, chars the surface of the bread, obviously not too much, we don't want it to go black, but that caramelises the sugars in the surface of the bread, making yeah. it taste sweeter. So it does become sweeter, it's not just mm -hmm. my imagination. And then, when it comes out of there, you see, it's beautifully done. <laughs> And if I'd put it in when I really put it in, it would have been burned. So it's a good idea. <laughs> I got it wrong, is it? Hopefully it would have popped up. <laughs> it would have popped with any luck. <laughs> no, actually, from where I put it, I don't think you'd have any chance of popping up. <laughs> Just of raising the fire alarm, noise all leaving the studio. Emily's also up for answering any questions you may have about how things work, however challenging. You've already been sending in your questions, and Emily's back after the break with the answers. But for now, my thanks to the very patient Dr Emily Grossman. <laughs> <laughs>